Are you anxious? Stress? Mind racing? Do you have trouble sleeping? Are you looking for healthy ways to cope? Join Speedway Jefferson, certified mindfulness practitioner and lawyer, and learn to apply mindfulness meditation to the challenges of everyday life. Harness the power of mindfulness meditation to live and work to your highest and best purpose, starting with just five minutes a day. Hi, and welcome to Mindful in Five, where we learn how to apply mindfulness meditation to the challenges of everyday life in bite-sized episodes for people with no time, perhaps just like you. My name is Fiwa Jefferson, and today I have a very special guest, Dr. Paul Shealy, who will talk to us about how to lead your mind to brilliant results. Does he not look brilliant? Um, Dr. Shealy is CEO of Shealy Learning Systems and Shealy Business Mindsets. He has influenced a diversity of organizations through his work in problem solving, creativity, communications, accelerated learning, and leadership development, all the things. As the CEO of two companies and a consultant to other businesses, he actively applies his expertise to advance, progress, and overcome challenges. Dr. Shealy, welcome to Mindful in Five. Very good to be here with you, Speedway. What a joy for me and an honor as well. Thank you. So, Paul, you really believe that there are untapped, brilliant resources within every business and individual. What we would love to know, or at least what I certainly would love to know, is share with us what inspired you to get into this work? And tell us a little bit about your, that doctor label in front of your, of your name, because I suspect they might be related. Thanks, yeah. I went to the University of Minnesota to get a degree in biological sciences because in the 19, mid 1970s, early actually 73, uh, I was quite interested in environmental studies. I was concerned about our environment, the impact of human activity on the quality of our environment, the loss of critical habitat for wildlife. And I saw that if I could make a difference as an ecologist, as an environmentalist, that's where my passion resided. But at some point I realized, oh my goodness, I can't go put a plug on a smokestack and think that that's going to change things. This is an issue of human activity. This is an issue of human consciousness. And so I realized that if a person increases or improves the quality of their lives, that's going to reflect in the quality of the environment around them their home, their neighborhood, their communities, their state, their country, the planet. And so I started moving towards psychology and I recognized that adult learning and human development was my path and that's where I got my master's degree. So I became a program designer, started my business learning strategies in 1981 and I've been essentially working to help people improve the quality of their lives with that deeper intent that that's going to reflect on a higher quality of human activity in the planet. We will awaken to the unintended consequences of our behaviors. And at some point, human history will start to shift toward a more sustainable relationship with the environment. And only now are we really seeing that some 40 years later, right? With the recognition of the effects of climate and mass extinction that's occurring. And so my doctorate was really about, all right, if we're going to transform human activity on the planet, what is that process of transformation that we go through? And so I developed a measurement instrument, a way of researching the critical incident 
in which human transformation occurs. And that's helping to inform leaders of how to be better facilitators of transformation. Now, if you're a business executive, you're going to help to transform your organization. You're going to be able to help transform your employees to become the fullest expression of who they are and not live under the limitations that have been imposed on them by their traditional education or their culture or their family system or the religious system, or whatever it might be that has really marginalized the true brilliance that's within them. And so it becomes one of like the caterpillar turning into the butterfly, really revealing those genius capacities to solve some of the difficult recalcitrant problems that we have created for ourselves as the unintended consequences of trying to solve our economic, our social problems, our, you know, our fears and our worries about are we going to have enough and so on. And so that's where my doctorate came in is uh, I've got a PhD in leadership and change with an emphasis on transformative learning and transformational change. Wow. Well, and if there was ever a time in history when we needed <laughs> transformational and change resources and how do we manage through all the changes that we have, especially, you know, the stuff that's really stressing us out, right? Because, yes. you know, we are now living in a season of, of global, systemic, ongoing, continual change that that really does impact all of us, right? It's, you know, that which happens across the pond happens to you too, and we should all be concerned. And so it feels like your um, expertise is, well, it's always been relevant, right? But I suspect that now we're feeling the need for it in a way that perhaps we haven't in the past couple of decades. Right, if there was any doubt that behavior of somebody in the other end of the planet is going to affect your life. Think about it this way. Imagine 8 billion people are living in your backyard or in the room next to you, right? Because yeah. one person eats some bad bat meat in Wuhan, China, and it collapses the world economy. Uh, what is that? Yeah, right? <laughs> So everything we do matters to all of us. And please don't fear the darkness that's showing up in the human psyche. All darkness is meant to turn to light. We need to pour the truth. We need to pour the light of the truth into those dark, scary places in our consciousness that says, we're not enough, we're never going to make it, we're not safe. We can do this. As Buckminster yeah. Fuller said, we're in our final exam, but we can make this if we work together. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for that wisdom. And, you know, I, I would say, listeners, if you if you heard nothing else, just know that we can absolutely do this and we're going to unpack that in a little more detail. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and so if we have listeners who are now thinking, well, gosh, what can they do today when they're overwhelmed, fearful, backing away from an opportunity or beginning to shut down because they don't think they're up for the task? in front of them, uh, let's say someone has that goal that they'd like to achieve, but the steps are either too vague or too frightening for them to feel confident that they'll succeed. I feel like you've given us some really good nuggets already for what to do and how to approach that. Is there anything else that we should be thinking about when and if we find ourselves in that situation? I call it the drop in process. So it's those three pieces I gave the deep breath in, exhale, relax the shoulders, the relaxation of the face with a gentle smile, and then the connected breath. That process called dropping in is you're dropping into genius. You're dropping into the genius because at that point, you can now hold an image of what it is that you intend to create. 
until you have, if the brain is down regulating and switching off, it's very hard. You got to reconnect that neural circuitry. So I think you have a URL that we can send people to to take the three brain circuits quiz. And in each one of the three brain circuits, I give you something that you can do immediately to really help reconnect. I'd encourage people to continue to follow through on this and take a look at that website. Take a look at that quiz. I'll give you a report. I'll give you a little video tutorial about what you can do immediately. It can make a difference. Well, that is fantastic. And we will absolutely include that as a link as well Thanks. in the um, notes for this podcast and video pod. And I guess that brings us to my last question, which is, uh, what are all the other ways that um, people can connect with you, Paul, if they want to learn more about your organization and how they can plug in? Well, if you go to SheelyLearning.com, I have some free resources there, an opportunity to join a membership of people who are interested in learning, and we can keep you appraised of what is going on, um, apprised, I should say. And then um, we can also um, let you know, I, I have uh, blogs in there, I have video blogs, so there's a lot of additional information. All of my work is really with adult learners and mostly for entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, business executives who are interested in up-leveling their work by connecting with those greater resources that are within you. So do take a look, SheelyLearning.com. It's here on the website uh, for your, your wonderful podcast here. And Speedway, thank you so much for inviting me to be a part and share with your audience. Well, you know, um, you and I uh, met through a, a mutual friend and then we had lunch one day and I just felt like we had such a um, um, synergistic set of sort of mindsets in, in the direction we're going in. It was just so great to have you on the show. And um, uh, I, I am just delighted that we could make this happen. So Paul, thank you so much for coming by to share your great work with us on Mindful in Five. A great pleasure. Bye for now, Speedway. And uh, listeners, uh, you heard it here and you watched Paul share it with us. Believe it, there is brilliance within you. There are brilliant resources that are in there. Harness this power to unleash your potential. In the notes for this podcast and pod video, we will uh, include all the links that can connect you with Dr. Paul Sheely and his work. And until next week, be mindful and be well. Thank you for listening to Mindful in 5. If you enjoyed it, follow and rate it on your favorite podcast platform or on Trustpilot.com. Get your copy of the book Mindful in 5 from Amazon.com or MindfulIn5.com today. Visit MindfulIn5.com to download sample chapters of the book Watch videos, connect with the Mindful in 5 community on social media, and more. Until next time, be mindful and be well.